Hey everyone, Michael Hirsch here with Break a Pencil. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, it's Friday afternoon for me here. Uh, by the time you're watching this, maybe Saturday or Sunday. Uh, if you're in the U.S., you're uh, having a long weekend for the Memorial Day holiday. Hope all's good. Good with everyone. Uh, I wanted to share a tool that I've been playing around with for the last couple of weeks. Uh, it's called Iterate. Uh, and they have an AI instead of just an A for the word Iterate. Uh, sort of to, you know, call attention to the fact that AI is a core part of this product. So this is a product management specific tool uh, that uses AI to help create product management documents and artifacts. Think PRDs and user journeys and, you know, uh, press releases, things like that. And so there's a number of these out there and I've been playing around with a bunch of them. Uh, this one really caught my attention though, because it's pretty remarkable how much this gets right from very, very little input. So that's what I'm going to try to show you today, right? Because you've seen other tools probably that can create PRDs, but I'm going to show you just a little bit of input and how much good, rich, and pretty darn accurate output comes from it. So uh, I'm going to start here, uh, my products. I have none. I'm going to go ahead and click add product. All right. And so I'm going to add product. I, I could upload a document, but instead I'm just going to have it do, go step by step um, with the, 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 the AI wizard. So I'm going to click start wizard. Okay. And uh, first thing it want wants me to describe the product. So uh, I'm going to do voice to text. Uh, if you know me, you know I like doing this a lot. I want to create an add-on to the Canvas Learning Management System that I use with my business school students, both undergraduate and graduate. This add-on should look at the students' grades on assignments, should look at the comments I provide for their written assignments, and should look at what they miss on quizzes. That information, combined with my syllabus, the textbook, and all the case reading material, it should form some personalized learning enhancement or tutorials to help them with areas they're struggling with. Okay, that's all I'm going to put in. It's now going to take me through a series of, is this okay, is this okay, is this okay, until it forms a PRD. Uh, I'm going to click okay on everything, uh, and then we're going to look at the PRD at the end. And I will likely speed this part up of the video.
Okay, we're back. Um, and so let me just recap. I put in a couple sentences at the beginning. Um, it then stepped me through things like scope, target market, customer, um, you know, key things like that, differentiation features, etc. And I just simply clicked accept, accept, accept for all of them. So I didn't do any changes. And then I asked it to create a PRD. And so here we are, we have a PRD and let's look at it. So the market problem is well defined here. In the current educational landscape, instructors often struggle to provide personalized support to students. Uh, market opportunity. Uh, it's got an LMS estimate of 38 billion growing at a CAGR of 19.9%. Okay. Why solve this? Educators are increasingly seeking solutions that utilize automated analytics to address individual student needs. Okay, great. By addressing a critical gap in personalized education, Insight Tutor, which is the name that it gave this, has the potential to attract a broad user base. Competition. So these are some competitors out there. Okay. User personas. So it's created a persona for a business school professor. It's created a persona for another faculty member. Target customers. Uh, general customers. Personalized student support. Success criteria, a feature list, overall milestones based on the 11 months I said that this would uh, probably take, uh, release details, OKRs, okay. Sales propositions, product requirements. The solution may utilize a cloud-based development environment for scalability, it could leverage APIs, the add-on should function across major operating system platforms, the application name for quick data processing. Okay, um, some technology overview, conceptual press release. This is great. And potential complaints, virtual product team feedback. So this is on value, usability, feasibility, and business viability, and that's it. So what I think I wanna show you is, look, none of these tools are gonna get you a PRD that's 100% and you can be done with. But the idea is how can I use a tool that's gonna to get me to 70 or 80 or maybe even 90% in just minutes. And so what I feel like is with very little input, this got pretty close to a decent document, maybe 70-ish percent. If I had done a little bit more effort in the front end of not just a little bit of input, but gave a little bit more context, a little bit more set of requirements, maybe a little bit more business or market justification, Imagine how much better this result would be. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you. I think it's a great product. It's called Iterate, I-T-E-R-A-I-T-E, iterate.com. If you have any questions, as always, uh, feel free to reach out. Thanks. Bye-bye.